Today we're going to be building ourselves another rabbit hutch. So we've got a mama in here with three babies and these are about full grown. We need to get them moved out and get them in their own hutch. So hopefully we can build us a, a couple new rabbit hutches and make some improvements upon them and make them better than the ones we've built in the past. So this here is, uh, this is the old barn here on the property and uh, we just got done building our house that you can see back there and uh, we have a ton of material that was left over from the, uh, from the build. So we've got a lot, of, a lot of different things in here that we can choose from to be able to build a lot of future projects. So we're going to try to utilize this material to build our rabbit hutch. So I don't have too many 2x4s. I've only got, uh, I think I've only got about three right there and they're super long ones. They're about 16 footers. Um, I think I'll just save those and I think we're going to try to use these 2x6s. We're going to put them through a table saw cut them down to two by threes and uh, build a rabbit hutch out of those. Also we've got some of this galvanized metal uh, that's left over. We use this as a ceiling in our basement. So we've got uh, quite a few sheets here of this galvanized corrugated roofing. So we're going to probably use that for the uh, for the top of the rabbit hutch. And this rabbit hutch is going to go out here in one of our in a lean to and it's not going to be inside the chicken coop uh, like we have been doing. Well, the rabbit hutch is almost done. You can see uh, we went ahead and we ripped our two by sixes down in half so that we had a bunch of two by threes. And we pretty much built the entire framework out of two by three material. So the, um, the hutch itself is six feet wide and it's two feet deep. And um, there's three hutches there. So each hutch gets, uh, gets uh, two feet in width so we've we ended up put uh, half inch by one inch uh, cage wire we got that on the bottom of the uh, of the rabbit hutch and then we put that along the front as well and uh, then we ended up cutting out we ended up cutting out 12 inch openings in the wire and then we put a couple more pieces of framework on top of that one of them is going to be for the hinge and the other one will be for the latch. And then you can see over here, we've got one, uh, a couple of them already mounted here. And the wire that goes over the door is just the scrap wire that we ended up cut out uh, of the front. So everything's coming along pretty good. I actually have run out of material. I've run out of staples to staple the wire on. So I've got a door down here that I still need to attach the wire to. And then I also ran out of hinges and I don't have any latches. So I got to go run and grab some hardware. And then once I get back, go ahead, we'll get that door mounted, get all the latches on there. And then I can go ahead and, and get the roof on.
So for the door latch here on the, uh, the rabbit hutch, uh, we just went with these simple latches that you would uh, flip shut and then put a padlock through. Uh, these were cheaper than buying the little, the little barrel bolt slides. So we went with that because I've got uh, I've got a bunch of these lynch pins that I'd bought at Harbor Freight for like seven or eight bucks. So we just take a lynch pin that's a fairly snug size, we'll put that in there, and then we'll flip that shut, and then hopefully. Uh, Hopefully a raccoon won't be able to get this unlatched. So for some reason a raccoon uh, actually ends up figuring this out. I guess we'll get a carabiner instead and just put a carabiner through there. So as far as the food for the rabbits, we've used those gravity feeders and all our cages have these gravity feeders on them. And the rabbits seem to pull the food out of them feeders and of course with the wire mesh on the bottom of the cage it just all kind of falls down and it gets wasted. Um, so we've actually switched to these dog bowls and they're the kind that kind of slope down they, they're kind of like anti-tip and as long, and it seems like we do better uh, with the rabbits not wasting as much food in these dog bowls instead so i don't have any more of those dog bowls but we have a bunch of these that my wife got off a lady she works with and they're like a little food bowl but they're not the anti-tip so the rabbit will roll them over and dump all their food out so what I'm going to try to do, since I have these, I'm just going to try to find me some kind of piece of wood, a board, that's that's a little bit bigger on the bottom and attach it to the bowl so that it won't tip over. And then that's what I'm going to try for the food bowls uh, in these cages. So I went to the scrap pile to see if I could find a scrap piece of wood. And I actually found a piece of this uh, bamboo laminate flooring that I put in our house. It's basically about a 9 16 plywood is basically all it is. So I just cut that down, uh, cut the corners on it, um, and then just screwed one screw and uh, screwed the bowl to the center of it. So this will keep this bowl from being able to be tipped over from the rabbits. And uh, I'm not really worried about this being watertight. I'm just looking for it to hold dry food. So if I want to do this same thing uh, for a water bowl possibly, um, I'd have to probably come up with another way to attach it instead of a screw. But uh, this should work fine for the dry food. Since we switched our other cages over to heated water bottles over the winter time, we ended up had their, their three old bottles. So we're gonna take their three old water bottles, we'll put them on these cages. We'll go ahead and put the, uh, the food in each one of these bowls and then we'll start uh, moving the rabbits. And the funny thing about this is I'm not the rabbit guy. My wife, she's the animal person. I just like to build stuff. So this is normally her job to handle the rabbits. I'm, you are really scrunching down. Come here. So yeah, I'm not used to handling the rabbits. Hello. What gets me is I can leave your door open and you don't run away. Mommy's probably happy to have you guys go. One more thing before I finish up is a lot of times you don't want the rabbits to have to be on the cage wire all the time so you want to give them something to be able to uh, get up on so what i've got is i've got some leftover tile this is some tile that we used in our master bath it's just a porcelain tile but it was a wood plank tile so it's a it's only about six inches wide 24 inches long it's about a perfect for a, a rabbit to lay on so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna lay these in here and that'll give them a nice cool surface to be able to get off the wire and get up on Out, mister. And it's the perfect width of the cage. So that wraps up the uh, the rabbit hutch. That's one more project off the list. 
uh, we got a lot of projects to do around here but I really uh, I've set some main goals for this year and I haven't been able to get any of those complete except for getting our house done it took a lot longer to complete construction on our house than I wanted so I really want to move on to those goals but uh, the problem is I've got some issues with our animals we do have that we need to straighten out and one of those was our rabbit situation they all needed some type of cage so now we've I think this remedies that situation and then our next problem is our ducks are in with our chickens so we want to get uh, our ducks and chickens separated so probably next weekend's project is going to be building a duck house um, and we're going to take that duck house put it out by the pond somewhere closer to the house so that the ducks can have uh, the area around the pond and use the pond and get them separated from the chickens um, so hopefully that will take care of all our issues that we have with the animals that we do have and then after that I can finally start focusing on my goals so my next goal will be working on the uh, our barn we're gonna try to get that fixed up and uh, so we can start putting animals again in the barn and get it all fenced around fenced in some pasture and a barnyard area and uh, so we can get some more livestock so there's a lot of projects here here coming on the property so stay tuned uh, more videos to come thanks for watching <music>